Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. Let's get straight into your reading Virgo and pull your oracle card. So what do we have for Virgo please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Virgo as an overarching energy for the week. What does Virgo need to hear the most? Okay, two cards just wanting to fall out. A one card. Oh, <laughs> I've got prosperity number three. As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so I may prosper from the universal divine. Prosperity, growth, abundance, very empress energy here. The three is about manifesting something new. It's also a master number of divine energy. So do have a look at that. Um, very nice energy there, Virgo. Let's see what else we get. Angels, what is the message, please, for Virgo? Message for our lovely Virgos. For the week. What does Virgo need to hear, please? got to communicate clearly Virgo. Now we can deal with our own internal communication because you are the hermit uh, so that can be about finding answers from within. It can also be obviously communication in your external environment that's associated with prosperity. So let us pull some cards and see what we do, what we get. What do we have for Virgo please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Virgo. Wheel of Fortune is in the challenge position. Three of Coins is advice from Spirit. Two of Cups is near future outcome. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Virgo. And remember Virgo, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. What do we have for Virgo? We have Justice. The Page of Coins clarifies the Three of Coins. The Empress! <laughs> I was definitely feeling her energy quite strongly in this reading. She is the Master Three. Um, and she is linked with prosperity. So she's linked with prosperity and abundance. We have the six of wands, bottom of the deck. I mean, some of these cards are quite similar to Taurus. Uh, I've got Venus in Taurus here. Other cards on the table that might mean something is zodiac signs. We have justice, which is Libra. It's not limited to that, obviously. Okay. Things haven't been going your way, Virgo. It definitely feels in this energy you have felt it difficult to break free from what felt like a run of bad, bad luck. Um, delays, things just not going your way, you know? But there's definitely an energy of that is about to be righted here by the universe. I mean, this is karma. There's definitely an energy of reap what you sow and in this energy what you've been working towards, what you've been putting your energy and time into, um, there is definitely an energy of karmic rewards in this, uh, karmic rewards coming your way, definitely an energy of reaping what you sow but it feels like things weren't going in your favour. Uh, delays, setbacks, things fizzling out. Um, I mean, this can be in terms of money and career. I could see this, you know, I mean, if there's been any property issues as well, potentially with that too, but it feels more like money and career here. It feels in this energy, Virgo, that just things haven't been going your way. And you felt like you've, you've been going through some kind of difficult cycle, challenging cycle, 
that has been difficult to break free of. But there's an energy here that that is changing. The universe is rebalancing things out because it acknowledges the effort that you've been putting into something and is writing the scales in that respect. Spirit, the advice from Spirit is saying there is new abundance coming your way. Um, there is definitely this energy of a message to do with a career or financial opportunity that heralds the beginnings of new success, manifesting new success. That could be in the form of a partnership, that could be in the form of um, a collaborative project, um, launching a new business partnership. It could also be to do with a new job, you know. Um, whatever this means to you, this is what the Empress is linked to. This is also a number three. You have three threes in this reading, which is really magical. Um, because the three in tarot is all about manifesting something new. And again, with the Pentacles energy, beginning to see the success, beginning to see, see the, the reward of your effort, manifest, the first signs of manifestation paying off. So then there will be some physical reward, some physical opportunity some physical message coming your way to do with something concrete here. Uh, it feels very beautiful. Now, there could be some kind of meeting that's set up here, Virgo, because there is definitely an opportunity to communicate clearly. So I'm definitely feeling to do with this opportunity, with the cards on the table, some kind of meeting, an important meeting this week. And... There's a signal here that the universe is restoring the balance. Um, you've had a run of bad luck for whatever reason. I mean, it could be the pandemic for some of you. But there's definitely the energy of the universe is writing the balance because there is some kind of important connection that you're making this week. Yes, the Two of Cups can be... This can be linked with love. And so can the Empress. The Empress can be linked with love, romance, relationships. Um, can be a renewal of love or new love. But this can also be to do with an offer or an invitation that brings you joy. That is the beginnings of the prosperity happening. The very beginnings that hold such promise and potential. Now, I also feel for some of you, if there's a meeting, you might be bonding with somebody. Uh, the conversation flows easily. You, I mean, it could well be with an empress. You know, that's why I'm, I might have been feeling, which is generally a powerful divine feminine energy. Um, so it could well be somebody who in business that you're meeting, that you're having some kind of conversation, communication with, and you're forming an important bond with them. It feels like making an important connection this week. This Empress, if, if it's a person, they're very influential in bringing this success to your door. So somebody who is involved in this situation, but you're, there's definitely some kind of bond happening because we have the number six, the, the six of wands, which is, I'm seeing threes all over the place. Obviously six is, two times three so there's definitely this energy of it's it's linking to some significant victory success uh, a significant achievement where you feel pretty good about it and you overcome a challenge you've put a difficult time behind you so whatever this wheel of fortune was in the challenge position whatever didn't seem to be going your way um it's almost kind of like that cycle is being broken because your manifestation is paying off. What you have been putting your energy into manifesting, this is about reaping the rewards of that, you know? Uh, very, very beautiful energy. There's new prosperity coming your way. Message of communicate clearly. I, I feel you'll be having a, some kind of meeting here. I'm definitely feeling uh, a meeting. And this is about the conversation flowing freely. Uh, Light-minded souls, kindred spirits, call it what you will, but there is just the bond um, and it's linking to some level of prosperity that I'm feeling with you. So very, very beautiful energy, some significant achievement, victory and overcoming a challenge. 
also some recognition that I mean this is also linked with recognition so yeah someone recognizing you for your power your potential wow it feels like this meeting this communication is is big for you this week um it feels like it's going to go very well This is a card of playing to your strengths, by the way, the six of wands. So make sure you do play to your strengths. Okay. Final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the cards never cease to amaze me. We've got Koi Carp Abundance. Move with the flow of abundance through you and around you or around you and through you. Yeah, um, the cards are very in synchronous. You know, we have prosperity as this tree grows so strong, so fine. So may I prosper from the universal divine. It definitely feels for some of you there's new prosperity coming your way. Absolutely beautiful energy, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.